Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. So today we're gonna go get some logs. And if you remember a couple videos ago, I specifically stated that I don't need any more firewood poles. Well, that's not what we're after today. Today, we're actually gonna go get some saw logs. As I've mentioned before, we have a sawmill coming in August and I have nothing to throw on that sawmill when it gets here. So I really need to start hitting it hard and start collecting some saw logs to get on that mill. Now, what I need to collect to start is some logs that aren't necessarily gonna be great saw logs, but something for me to practice on because one thing that everybody can agree on is when you first get a sawmill, don't put your nice logs on there. Put some crappy logs on there that you can go ahead and screw up and not feel so bad about messing up. So we're gonna go ahead today. Our tree service guy has a couple of pine logs that he's gonna give us, and I think they're gonna be pretty decent. We might be able to make some dimensional lumber out of them. And then he also has a 30 inch butt log of a white oak tree. And that's gonna be what we put on the sawmill once we've kind of figured it out. So stick around, we're gonna hop in the dump trailer in the truck and go pick up these logs.
So here is our haul for the day. I know I said at the beginning of this video we were going to be getting this spruce log and then we were also going to be going and getting that 30 inch white oak log, but this is all the time we have for today. But I'll tell you what, these spruce logs were heavier than I thought. I originally cut them to 12 foot thinking that the coyote tractor would be able to pick them up because they're softwoods. But given the diameter of these, I think the big one is about 23, 24 inches. The middle one is somewhere 20, 21 inches. And then the small one is 19 or 20 inches. Uh, they were pretty big. I ended up having to cut them down to about 10 and a half feet. I cut a foot and a half off of each one so that I could lift them up and get them into the bed of the dump trailer. Now, what I wanted to do real quick was go ahead and measure these up, get a weight on them to find out how accurate our Coyote loader lift capacity is. So the Coyote advertises on the CK3510 that you can lift 1,835 pounds. Now, granted, we do have a log grapple on there made by Brute Force Manufacturing. So that's going to add an extra couple hundred pounds. So let's see, you know, if we can lift 1,835 pounds and we were just about maxed out, I'm going to guess that these logs should be somewhere between 12 and 1400 pounds each. All right, so like I said, this first one here measures 24 inches on the small end, and I think it's about 25 inches on the big end. This one is about 21 inches, and then this one is about 17 and a half inches. Now for length, This one here is about 10 foot 7 inches. So if we go ahead and plug that into our little log weight calculator, this log here weighs roughly 1,382 pounds. I'd say the Coyote did a pretty good job of getting that up in the dump trailer. This one here is 11 foot 9 inches. This one here weighs roughly 1,228 pounds. This one is 12 feet 9 inches. And this one here weighs roughly 1,051 pounds. So altogether, these three logs here weighed about 3,650 pounds in the bed of the dump trailer, towed behind the Ford F-150. Did a great job getting them back here. So I do have a project in mind for what I wanna use these logs for. It's gonna be all dimensional lumber. I'm gonna use it for framing material. I wanna know roughly how many board feet are in these logs. So let me go to a board foot calculator now. All right, so this log here, there's roughly 225 board feet in it. There's about 176 board feet in this log here. And there's about 147 board feet in this log here. So all those numbers are really just estimates. There's no real way to know for sure, but they do give you a general idea. Like I think the log weight is actually pretty accurate considering we have a four or 500 pound grapple on the front. We are picking up 1400 pound logs and our loader lift capacity is rated for 1,835 pounds. So that all kind of adds up. Now, as far as whether or not we're gonna have 550 board foot out of those logs, that's all gonna come down to how well I mill them and if there's any defects on the inside. We won't know until we get them opened up, but I'm really looking forward to getting that sawmill here in August. Getting these logs here really just whets my appetite to get that mill here. But anyway, it is awfully cold here for an April day. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up and get back inside. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button and check out some of their videos. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.